Hi there. My name is Sivak Demirjan. This presentation is part of an educational series about kidney medicine and extracorporeal support. Enjoy. Welcome to History of Dialysis. We'll take a chronological approach to discoveries and inventions, which ultimately made it possible for dialysis to come into existence the way we know it today. Let's start with diffusion as the basis for dialysis. The movement of solutes across the semi-permeable membrane was discovered and described in 1748. However, it was Dutroche who first described in detail and introduced the word osmosis. Collodion was discovered in 1846 and was used in the film industry and it was pretty explosive because of high nitrate content, but we will see its role in dialysis later on. Around the same time, urea, and soon after, creatinine appeared in the literature, just about the time when the basic structure of the glomerulus was being reported by Dr. Bowman in London and Ludwig from Germany. The first description of dialyzer, or the term dialysis, was reported by Graham, who is famous for his gas diffusion work, Graham's Law. He also first introduced the terms colloids and crystalloids. Experimented with various membranes, in this example, we see urine in an ox bladder and urea diffusing out. After about 24 hours, in his words, crystal constituents moved to the water, and after evaporation, there was white saline mass. From this mass, urea was extracted with alcohol. A few years later, herodin, an anticoagulant, was discovered, which was a direct trauma inhibitor extracted from leeches' saliva. As we will see, with any kind of extracorporeal therapy, anticoagulation is a very important part. In, in 1908, a Swiss, Brandenburger, discovered cellophane, made from cellulose used for food packaging at the time. It was the plastic equivalent in those days, which will play a big role with Dr. Kolf a few decades later. First dialysis ever performed in animals was done by Dr. Abel in the U.S. in 1913. Using a collodion as the membrane and herodin as an anticoagulant. A few years later, McLean discovered heparin The first ever dialysis in human patients was carried out by Dr. George Haas in Germany. Here you see the setup used by Dr. Haas when he dialyzed the first few patients. A few decades later, a Dutch physician kick-started the modern era of dialysis. Using cellophane membrane for blood to go through, wrapped around a rotating drum sitting in 100 liters of saline,
The next iteration was equipped with a Ford water pump and used in various parts of the US and the world. In 1950, Dr. Cole moved to the United States, worked at the Cleveland Clinic, where he came with his next iteration of a dialyzer. In the mid-1960s, the hollow fiber technology was invented and became the standard ever since. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.